In this example, we'll look at getting the standard deviation and variance of a population and sample. All right, so here's uh, the question, and you know they want standard deviation, but basically I'm just going to take the data, so I have something here, and then we're going to put it into this document here. Okay, now I have the equations here so you know what we need to do. We need to program those into Excel basically using functions. We just got to do it piece by piece and we can all put it together. So we need the N, capital N is the number for population and little n is the number for a sample. So if this is the entire population then we need capital N. So we need to know the total. So I'm going to put the total here but I'm going to leave a little bit of space actually. I'm going to put it down let's see down here a ways in case you ever want to add more in okay so I'm gonna look at the total and I'm gonna use a count function what the count function does is just count it to see if there's something in there if there's a number in there so I can actually go all the way down to here let's say that'll be my my line it's only gonna bring back these numbers so as I do that nine but if I add another number in here ten see the count function gives me the total of everything in here and the reason why I left space is because in case for another problem I want to reuse this document um, I'll just p paste the stuff right in there and it will keep it. Alright so I have that portion. And now I need to do the mean. That's the mu here. The mean, so the average or mean. And that's just the average. Again, go down to the same amount there. So I went from there to there. Okay, and now I have that. Let's go look up here again. I have I have to have xi. Xi is these are the values given minus the mu, and then square that, and then this is the sum of the squares. Okay, so what I'm going to first do is get the difference of them squared. So over here, I'm just going to label this x minus u and then do like this. That way I know that's the difference squared. Or you can maybe title it difference squared. Okay, and then basically what I do is I create that. It's going to equal the x value minus the mu or the mean. Go down to where the mean's located. But I need to put a dollar sign in there because I'm gonna copy and pull it down. Alright, so then enter so, so far I have just x minus mu and now I want it squared. So I'm going to put some parentheses around that and square it. Alright, so this minus the mean quantity squared. That's all that is. Okay, now I'm just going to drag this down to right about there. There's my values. All right, and then now I need the sum of that. So that would be, again, the sum would be the total. So about right here, I just might say uh, that a sum equation and add that up. I might label it as well. So I'll go sum and then add those up from here to here. And then I have the sum. They call the sum the squared uh, deviation. So maybe that's what I'll write it, squared deviations. Okay, so I got that part now, right? I have this this whole thing. Now I just got to create the standard deviation, which is just that number divided by the total number and then take the square root of it. So here we go. That's population. Standard deviation of the population. I'm just shorthanding it. Now let's type that in. It was the square root of the square deviations divided by the n. So that's what I'm going to do. The square root, that's the SQRT square root. Now I'm going to take this value here, square root of that, divided by n, the number. And that's where we go to the total is here. So I'm creating a function. Then end that and hit enter. Now this always will have be the deviation, even or excuse me, the standard deviation anytime you change these values. These are the input values and everything is calculated based on that. We have all that information done. 
Now the variance is just the standard deviation squared. So variance of the population is just this value right here squared. So I'm just going to go equals that cell, and you can do it times itself or squared to the second power. And there we go. That's the variance for the population. Then over here, let's say this was just a sample rather than a whole population. So we might as well just do this too. It's basically the same thing. You take the same information except you just divide by n minus 1. So over here, it's going to be the standard deviation for the um, sample. And it's going to be the same thing. Equals the square root. Square root of the square deviations, but divided by, not just by the capital N, but by N minus 1. So divided by this, and then minus 1. And now, in order for um, order of operations to work out, we need to put parentheses around that value here like this, because order of operations say to do that division first and then subtract 1, and we don't want to do that. Now we just need one more parentheses to end the first one that we started with. So this one takes the square deviations and divide it by one less than this number in here. All right, hit enter, and there's that sample standard deviation. And again, for the variance, it's just the um, squared value of that. So maybe in this one, I'll just do that cell times that cell again. That's the same thing, right, as squared, and there we go. All right. So those are the values on how to find the population standard deviation and variance and then sample standard deviation and variance. And now you're able to save that. And then anytime you come another problem with this, you just paste the data in here and it will calculate it up. And you might need to bring these things down though further if you have more data to make sure you calculate the whole thing. But this thing of course counts all the way down as well. So hopefully that helps you out in the class.